can't say that nothing their loved ones can say will change the fact that they feel trapped inside hideously ugly faces and bodies. Our next guest, Alicia, says that in her case, the reason she feels so ugly is because her mom, Essie, made her feel that way. Alicia, tell us your story. Actually, all my life I felt ugly because of my dark complexion. When I was younger, my mom would make differences between my sister and I. She would dress us in outfits that were similar and alike, but she would comment on how pretty or nice she looked, but I never got the same comments. And also in school, when we were referred to, we would both get in trouble. And when I get in trouble, she get in trouble too. They would refer to me as the dark one instead of the light one. Huh. And my mom would also compare us to the point to where she would discipline me harder, harsher than she would my sister. And you think it's because of the sk your skin coloring? Well, yeah, she would make comments on the fact that I reminded her of my dad. My dad was dark complected too, and she, dis di she disliked him and took it out on me to the point and said she, you know, disliked me because I looked like my dad. Well, now that you're a grown woman, can you see a beautiful woman when you look in the mirror? Yes, I do, but it's still the negative comments reflect on me to the point to where I put those negative comments towards my daughter. With her being light complected and with her, I, you know, be offended when she decides to date lighter skinned people other than just dark people. So what is it you want to say to your mom today? Because she's here. I wanted to tell my mom that I'm tired of her making differences between me and my sister, that dark is pretty and that I feel that she should treat me as if I'm her daughter too and not just compare the colors of what, you know, her, my sister being light, me being dark. You know what, fair enough. Let's hear what your mom has to say. Come on out, Essie. Oh. Backstage? Oh, yes. Do you feel like you treated your children differently based on the color of their skin? No. Uh, you honestly don't remember saying these things to her, or is she just making this up? Some of it she's making up. No, no. When I was so, growing up with my mom, my son, when I was carrying my older son, she would tell me the comment that she wished my son was not dark. She didn't want a dark grandbaby. And that affected me. Well, tell her, how did that affect you? It made me feel unloved. It made I me feel you didn't accept me for being a dark-skinned daughter instead of the bright daughter. How could I not accept you? I had you, Alicia. So you can't fault me for that. But you kept making differences and comparing me to my sister, and you always chose my sister over me. No. But do you realize, Mom, that she would rub her face with a scouring pad to try to lighten her skin? No. You didn't know that? No. Lauren, you have a theory on this. Yes, well, it, it, these, this stems from some very deep-rooted issues in the African-American culture and community. It stems from slavery. They're all going, mm -hmm. it stems, Yeah, it is. And, and these issues are very alive and well. I see many African-American sisters and brothers in the audience going, yeah, because we've all grown up with that. We live in a, very, a society dominated by white media, white images, and therefore we're bombarded with this notion that whatever is closest to white is right. Now, the problem is, is that we then, as a community, have to overcome those things and fight those racial standards and work to make sure that our brown children feel just as beautiful as, as, as our white children. And, and, you know, Essie, can you, I mean, she, ha she has been affected, whether you were conscious in what you were saying or not. She's crying up here because of what she experienced as a child. Is there anything you want to say to your daughter? Because I've always told Alicia that she was beautiful. I always told her, I've always supported Alicia in everything that she went to do. She can tell you that. For as some of the stuff that she's saying, I don't, I didn't know it affected her like that. I don't remember telling her that, uh, something for, about the color of her skin. Are you sorry if you did say yes, anything? Yes, I'm sorry, right? but it's not my fault. I'm not going to sit here and take the, you know, the blame for her feeling that way. Because, you know, I don't feel like I, I did that. Alicia, all you can do is express how you feel, and I hope that you feel better in all this. At least yeah, you are. I hope she feels better about it because uh, I don't, you know, recall all this <laughs> negative because her brother, her brother is dark as she is, and I'm not light, but that's why I'm saying, you know, I don't know how that, why that should affect her like that.